Okay, good morning you guys. Let's talk bevel machines. We got two inch bevel machines sitting here. Um, two to fours is what they all are. This this one will go to a one and a half. Okay, this this one is your H&M. Come on, get in now. H&M bevel machine. The way they latch is they hook right around the pipe, hook it, and then that tightens up to make it so it don't slide. Okay? Pretty nifty little thing. Now, one thing about the H&Ms that I really, really like, compared to like a, like a Mathy, and I'll show you a Mathy here in just a sec, is these are all your dogs right here. Goes from a two and a half, a three inch to a two inch like all your dog is right there you only need four and you just rotate them however you need them to fit you just rotate and do like whatever you need and then so that goes two and a half to three inch and then two inch sorry and then to cut four inch you just leave it by itself you don't need any dogs that is really handy. You only have to keep track of four, four pieces. How would you say it cuts? An H&M is an incredible machine. Straight. Okay. Yeah, they're straight, they're awesome, they work great. Okay, this is your bridge. It's gonna bolt in right here. It's gonna, really simple. Pull this out, keep your washer on there. Okay guys, now one of the downfalls, I feel, and there's nothing against an H&M because they are amazing machines. There's nothing wrong with an H&M bevel machine. Is if you look, and then this one goes right there, obviously. But if you will look at an H&M compared to a Mathy, is the saddle is about two inches shorter on the Mathy. Okay, what that's gonna do is that's gonna get you into tighter spots if you got to. You gotta have more room to run one of these H&Ms. Just because the saddle's bigger. There's nothing wrong with them. They're incredible machines. But that's one thing that that uh, I don't, don't overly like about them is the saddle is just a little bit bigger to where that one isn't and I can get in tighter spots with that bevel machine. So, that being said, let's move on to a Sawyer. Okay guys, the other thing is, is this thing only adjusts a little bit there's not a whole lot of adjustment to the bridge that to me says square you don't have a lot of adjustment you can't really mess it up it's going to be square okay now we're going into the sawyers okay this is the bevel machine i started with when i broke out welding it's a two inch bevel machine do you know prices uh i don't really know prices you guys can google this um probably the two to four in the h m and the matthews are about twelve hundred thirteen hundred dollars the Sawyers I think are like five or six hundred so they're significantly cheaper but they're also to me they're built a little cheaper but uh, anyways the one nice thing is is there's no dogs so you just loosen this bolt move this to what size pipe you need or tube it even cuts tube gives you the measurements for everything tighten it back down you're good to go now to get this thing hooked onto the piece of pipe, you gotta pull this. Oop, come on. Knock that out, stick it on there, cinch that back around the pipe, redo this, cinch it down. A lot going into one of these bevel machines. But the 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 handle of this is amazing. I mean there's no skip, there's no timing, it's just it works great because it's got this little chain that grabs on the inside. Okay, adjustment, like I was saying, these don't have that much adjustment to them. They cut really square. What's happening on this is this thing has adjustment this way, it has adjustment this way. Let me get this pulled out a little. It has adjustment this way, and now it's got adjustment going up and down in the bridge. It is freaking extremely hard to get one of these to cut really good just because of the amount of adjustment that goes into one. So that's a Sawyer. Price-wise, these are way cheaper, about half. If you have a welder that has those, um, be prepared to carry a square on you. Yep, you're gonna be grinding a lot. I was always carrying a square. You're gonna be grinding a lot. Okay. 
Mathy. Great machine. So, I guess in the Mathy, there's still four pieces to it. Okay, so there's but. still four pieces involved in one of these, but now you got a three inch that just, and you only got two, you gotta put one on the back and in the front, or you got your two inch, or you got your uh, four inch. Now it's the same concept, except this one, instead of having like a little latch that it hooks onto, it just hooks onto like a Allen wrench screw. Tighten it up, good to go. That one is $1,300, I think. Same concept, you just cinch the bridge on there and it'll just sit right there. Savvy? Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yep. Okay, now we're gonna talk about one of these. This is my eight inch Matthew. Now the H&M looks just like the two inch H&M. It's got a longer bridge. They cut amazing. Uh, the Sawyer's eight inch, they look the, almost the same. But instead of having, you know, four dogs for three different sizes of pipe, now you got four dogs for one size of pipe. Guys, I did forget to mention that when you do buy a bevel machine, if they're brand new, they do come with dogs. They're fully set up, they're ready to roll. Like, uh, if you buy them brand new from the weld supplier, wherever you're getting them, they're they're good to go. If you buy them used, you're gonna wanna ask. Uh, make sure that they do come with dogs. If they don't, you're gonna have to order separate dogs for them. So, uh, just a thought. Um, I was just re-watching this video and I realized I'd forgot to mention that. So. Anyways, guys, I hope this kind of explained you carry it. a lot of dogs to get one of these to cut good. Same concept, throw that around, cinch it up, go to cutting. Now on the Matthews and the H&M's, I don't know, an H&M an H &M head won't fit a Matthews, but they'll interchange between themselves. So, this, eight, so this, this bridge will fit this one or this one, and the H&M will do the same with its own brand. So, hopefully that helped you guys out. You guys be blessed. We'll talk to you here in a little bit.